This is the 2022 AMC 10A problem 22. Suppose that 13 cards numbered 1 through 13 are arranged in a row. The task is to pick them up in numerically increasing order, working repeatedly from left to right. In the example below, cards 1, 2, 3 are picked up on the first pass, 4 and 5 on the second pass, 6 on the third pass, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the fourth pass, and 11, 12, 13 on the fifth pass. Right? We'd like go along. We'd find one. One, two, three. We'd go along four, five. We'd go along again. We'd pick up six. We'd go along again. Seven, eight, go nine, ten. And then uh, on the final pass, we'd go 11, 12, 13. So that's why it takes five passes. For how many of the 13 factorial possible orderings of the cards will the 13 cards be picked up in exactly two passes? Okay, so the thing about this problem is that it is pretty simple to realize that in order to pick up the cards in two passes, there is only there are only 12 possible cases. Either we pick up one on the first pass and then the numbers two through 13 on the second pass, or we pick up the numbers one through two on the first pass and then the numbers three through 13 on the second pass, or we pick up the numbers one through three on the first pass and the numbers four through 13 on the third pass. And we see the pattern here. We would end with, we could pick up the numbers one through 12 and then pick up the card 13. All right. And the thing that all of these have in common is that, for example, let's look at this case, right? One and two through 13. How many ways are there for us to position these cards, right? Well, here's the thing. If we consider this to be a group of one card and this to be a group of 12 cards, we can just think about this as 13 choose one. Because whatever card we choose, right? Let's say we chose this card to be one. Well, then the other cards would have to just be the numbers two through 13 in sequence because we'd have to pick them up all in one go, right? So we'd pick up one here, and then we'd pick up the numbers two through 13. So it's pretty clear that the answer uh, to that first case is 13 choose one, except there is an exception, which is we can't choose the first card because if we chose the first card, we wouldn't pick up one on one pass and then two through 13 on the second pass. We'd pick up all the cards in one pass. So we have to subtract one for the case where we accidentally make it all the numbers in sequence. Okay, well, the next case is clearly just 13 choose two minus one for the exact same reason. We choose two cards. One can be one, one can be two. And then the other cards would just have to be in sequence for us to pick them all up in one go. So this would be an example. And the reason why we have to subtract one is once again, the, the one exception is when we pick the first two cards, because then all the numbers would be in order and we'd pick it up in one go instead of two. And this continues. For one choose to go, pick one through three on the first cycle and four through 13 on the next cycle, it would be 13 choose three minus one. And this continues until we get to one through 12 and 13, where it's 13 choose 12 minus one. So our answer is just the sum of all of these. And there is a very quick way to add these up, which is to add the numbers 13 choose zero minus one and the number 13 choose 13 minus one to the sum because both of those are equal to zero. So we're not actually changing the sum, but we know that the sum of these 13, uh, these 14, 13 chooses would be two to the 13. And there are 14 of these numbers. So our answer is just, 2 to the power of 13 minus 14. And 2 to the power of 13 is just 8,192. And if we subtract, we get 8,178. 